Let's focus on the power of our thought. Here is what Proverb 23, 7 tells us. As a man think in his heart, so is he. This verse teaches us the deep power of our thought and attention. As a man think in his heart, so is he. This is not just an ancient wisdom statement that resonates in today's fast-paced world, but it is a reminder that our innermost thought determines our belief. And you know what? Our belief determines our expectation. Our expectation determines our attitude. Our attitude determines our behavior. And our behavior determines our performance. And our performance will eventually determine our destiny and will shape our real world. When we cultivate positive and purposeful, driven thought, we lay the way for growth and fulfillment. So let this verse serve as a blueprint for intentional living, allowing our thought to become our ultimate destiny, which happens when we totally surround our thought process to our divine architect. Proverbs 23 and verse 7 offer timeless wisdom and highlight the profound impact our thought have on shaping our character and action. In Philippians 4, 8, the Apostle Paul reinforced this principle, urging believers to focus on what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely and praiseworthy. This encourages us to have a positive mindset that aligns with the proverb 23 and verse 7. Let's consider the example of David. When he was actually facing the giant, David's thought were anchored in faith and trust in the power of his God. This inner conviction that he had within him led him to victory. And that was the same for Esther, who took a courageous decision to approach the king. Her thoughts were rooted on a belief that she was placed in a position for such a time as this. Today, this proverb urges us to be intentional about our thought by dwelling on positive faith-filled thought, we create the way for personal growth and purpose-driven living. Just as David and Esther found strength in their belief, we too can harness the power of our inner conviction, enabling us to overcome challenges and shape a purposeful life. Furthermore, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 emphasized the importance of taking captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. These words underline the battle that takes place between our ear and urge us to align our thinking with the teaching of Jesus. And here are a few scriptures that emphasize victory over the battle of the mind. Number one, Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Number two, Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desire to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Number three, Philippians 2.5, in your relationship with one another, you have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Number four, Colossians 3.2, set your mind on the things above, not on earthly things. Number five, 1 Peter 1.13, therefore, with the mind that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. Number six, Isaiah 26.3, 
you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Together, these verses emphasize the importance of renewing and aligning our mind with godly thought. By doing so, we find peace, transformation, and a deeper connection with God's will and purpose. This renewed mindset equips us to overcome the challenges and battle that may arise within our thought, ultimately leading to victorious and purpose-driven life. God bless you.